Our story starts with wartime parachutes, stocking rights, and this guy. 1935, DuPont's Wallace Carruthers unleashed a world-changing technology, nylon, the world's first synthetic fabric, a polymer that came from oil but mimicked the pliability, feel, and strength of silk. Nylon's invention kicked off a 90-year explosion of synthetic fiber development that has left our modern society completely and utterly dependent on synthetics, even for clothes. Clothes, something humans have been making from natural fibers for over 35,000 years. At Bloom, we're not trying to turn back time, we're plotting a new way forward. One that exploits the best smart materials from nature, aka proteins, and marries them with the best of industrial fiber manufacturing, better known as melt extrusion and melt spinning. Look, 70% of the textiles market is built on melt extrusion and melt spinning. $150 billion worth of polyester fibers are made every year using these technologies. If that doesn't scream scale, I don't know what does. I'm a third generation textiles man, and I know that if we're going to make a dent in the textile industry, we have to integrate with existing infrastructure. It keeps our CapEx and the OpEx low, and well that, that's just smart business. You've probably heard this story before. A young startup comes to market with a new protein-based product that's going to replace plastic. But you get under the hood and you learn that they're not using melt-based machines. And in this industry, if we're not using melt, you're toast. We're different. We're emitting the fiber industry right on their factory floors, feeding their melt extruders and melt spinners with our proprietary K pellets. Keratin proteins, grown and thrown away by the billions of tons every year, which we have converted into relaxed, moldable, all natural thermoplastic. There are stable, easily processed melts that are manageable at 250 degrees Celsius, just like polyester. Today we're extruding, drawing, and spinning fibers, but we can't get to market fast enough. Luxury brands, sportswear brands, and even automotive conglomerates are asking us, begging us, how soon we can deliver our samples. To meet our demand in the next year, we will be producing 1,000 kilograms per month. And at that scale, we'll be competitive with recycled polyester. I'm Sim Galati, co-founder and CEO of Bloom Labs. Together with farmers, brands, mills, and scientists, we are transforming the textile industry towards a more circular future. Join us.